morning everyone uh i hope you're all all right we are currently well it's quarter past seven in the morning um joey woke up just before seven o'clock so i'm currently downstairs making coffee and sorting out the dog and his bottle typically in the morning i will get up and sort everything downstairs while marco changes his nappy um changes joey's nappy not his own um he will have a play and he tends to kind of stay up for about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half at a time so if you can hear Bruce drinking very loudly um so he tends to stay up yeah for around 90 minutes and we'll then go down for his first nap of the day um and then we probably get up and get him ready and all the rest of it I think um I usually have this time to myself I have about an hour before Marco needs to start getting ready for work so I spend that time getting ready myself uh, which is great for me it's a wednesday and we don't really have any plans today so i thought we would have like a little cozy day at home and just let you kind of join us we are probably going to be going for a dog walk because it stops raining it is really miserable outside this morning which isn't very nice but yeah we have uh bruce to walk and a little bit of food shopping but other than that it's uh really quite an unusual day for us we usually have something planned near enough every day but we had a really really busy day yesterday we went to baby yoga and then heart beeps but today we don't have any baby groups uh, and we don't have any baby groups this week now until friday so uh it's going to be a fairly chilled couple of days i think depending on joey's mood uh but i thought you could spend the day with us and yeah that's uh that's what we're going to be doing today but i think his bottle is just about cooled now um my coffee is very ready and very needed and the washing machine is about to start there we go it was on a timer i did last night so i didn't forget so let's go get joey ready morning morning oh big stretch big stretch should we get you ready A big yawn. That's a big yawn. Say good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I think you slept very well last night, didn't you? You did. <laughs> Should we go feed you? Hey, you getting hungry? Hello. Hello. Did you have your nice morning nap? Did you have a nice morning nap? Hey? Did you? Did you? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Are you, how are you yawning? How are you yawning? You've just woken up. Just woken up. Hey? Oh, you've scratched your face. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, so Joey's just woken up from his morning nap. So he usually goes down, um, well it depends when he wakes up, but like I say, about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half after he's woken up. So he went down at quarter past eight, it's now nine o'clock. So he tends to only really have about 45 minutes um, for his morning nap. You're not a long napper, are you, in the morning? No, you're not. No, you're not a long napper in the morning. You're not a long napper in the morning. Um, so this is typically where I get him dressed. Marco's just left for work, so it is now uh, me and Joey on our own until about quarter past half past six. Um, and we like it, don't we? We like it. We do. I love Marco very much, but sometimes I do find that him being at home is more of a hindrance to us. Um, and it completely disrupts our routine. Uh, we don't have like a set routine just yet. We are getting there. Um, we kind of go by wake windows. I was quite obsessed, I think, for the first kind of, I'd say 12 to 14 weeks about getting into a routine and I felt like I really needed a routine to function. Um, and I think I've kind of resigned to the fact now that I'm not gonna have a set routine in the sense that he has a structured routine um, until he's a little bit older. I think wake windows definitely work better for us. So we kind of arrange our day around that and any plans that we have made 
for that day. Um, I tend not to do anything before 10 o'clock because I like him to have that morning nap. Occasionally he will sleep longer than um, 45 minutes, but it's very rare. On a Friday we do go swimming and the baby group um, that, that we go to is, it starts at nine o'clock. So we kind of have to change things up a little bit when we have things like that. But um, like I say, for the most part, we don't do anything until 10 o'clock, uh, which is fine. I have started getting Joey to nap in his own room. So we are at the moment in his nursery. The reason I have started doing that in the last couple of weeks is he's almost five months now. So he's five months next Sunday, which is horrible. Um, as much as I love this age and he's so much more alert and he's much more interactive and we have so much fun together, I really just feel like time is going so so fast like the first he was 20 weeks yesterday and the you know when you look back at like the first 20 weeks of my pregnancy that felt like it was the slowest 20 weeks in the world whereas I feel like I have blinked and I have gone from having a brand new shiny newborn that was two or three days old to this 20 week still tiny still very small uh little bean but it's uh you know it's lovely and I'm absolutely loving it but um it's just going so fast so the reason i have started getting him to nap in his own room is because uh, around six months obviously we will be moving him into his own room i don't i think marco is a little bit more eager to get him in his own room than i am i am quite looking forward to having our own space back um but at the same time i'm gonna miss you aren't i oh you've got all my eyelashes on your head i'm gonna miss you i'm gonna miss you being in our room aren't i Mummy likes waking up every morning and rolling over and seeing your face. Yes, she does. Oh, that was a big burp. That was a very big burp. Say, so, pardon me. Pardon me, everybody. Pardon me. Hey? Pardon you. Yes. Mwah. Um, so, yeah, so at six months, obviously, the intention is that we then move him in to here at some point. So I wanted to get him used to it. I didn't just want to one night suddenly move him into this room that he's never slept in. Um, he does seem to nap a lot better in his cot than he does in the next to me. Um, I, like I say, I might prolong it a little bit just because I like having him in that room and I, in our room and I don't feel like I'm fully ready to transition and six months really is quite close. But um mate you know a lot can happen in like five weeks or however long it is five six weeks so maybe i'll change my mind but i don't know i just want you to stay little forever don't i marco's always like oh he's gonna look so cute when he has his like little front teeth and oh when he's crawling around and this that, and the other and i'm like no stop talking about it i get really like quite frustrated when people talk about it because i'm like i don't want him to grow up like time is just going so so fast um but at the same time you know it is what it is you're gonna grow up. I can't stop time, can I? I can only enjoy what we have. Can only enjoy the time that we have. Hey? Hey? Right, you're getting a bit wriggly. So I'm gonna get him dressed now, and then we're gonna go downstairs and play on your play mat, aren't we? Hey? Yeah, we are. You're supposed to be excited about that. Excited? Hey? Ba ba ba. Mwah. Ba ba ba. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of fun today. So, Joey's currently playing on our new playmat. This is a totter and tumble playmat. Um, I paid £160 for it, and it is honestly, I think, one of the best investments ever. I'm hoping that it lasts us a while. So, the material is really, really thick. So, it's like a memory foam. So, it's great on my knees. It's great with... Bruce's claws um, so I can sit on this with him he can play and I'm not worried about Joey banging his head or anything like that on it um, but it's just meant that I can put him down without him getting a mouthful of dog hair like he would on a rug we've gone for the harvester pattern um, so it's double sided so you can see under here there's a different pattern on it so we can have it whichever way we like but I like this side I'm still in the process of convincing Marco to um, decorate the walls green so we like it don't we we do, we like it. It's very soft on your little feet and your little head, isn't it? So for me, anyway, I think the totter and tumble mat was definitely um, a great investment and hopefully will last us years. I wanted something so that I can put him down, he can practice his rolling, like I say, without getting that mouthful of dog hair. And that doesn't mean that I don't hoover, it just means obviously that we had a shaggy rug and I think 
no matter how much you hoover that obviously it was really deep pile and so there would always just be bits in it that you wouldn't necessarily see probably not the wisest idea with a labrador to be honest but it looks really good in our living room we really like it so it's made a massive difference to how much we can put joey down um and therefore what a difference he will make it will make hopefully to his development and things like that because I am not just putting him down when we're at soft plays and things like that and upstairs on the bed, blah, blah, blah. So we've had it for a good, I would say, four weeks now and uh, yeah, we really, really like it. So definitely recommend. There are cheaper alternatives. I know that people also recommended Munchkin and Bear. I think they are ever so slightly smaller, um, but I went with the Totter and Tumble because it was the one that most people on Instagram recommended. Uh, I wanted one that isn't like a puzzle piece that you put together, but obviously you can get ones like that. I think if you haven't got a dog, the cheaper ones are probably okay. Like, I see no reason why they wouldn't suffice. But for me, I needed something. There was no way I was going to keep Bruce off this. So, I needed something that his claws wouldn't impact. So, now while Joey is playing, I am going to go make his bottles for the day. Uh, obviously, if you watched my breastfeeding story video that I uploaded last Sunday, you'll know now that we are uh, pretty much, well, we are completely on formula now. I have now stopped breastfeeding in the last two weeks. Um, so, I'm going to go make those bottles i do prep all his bottles in the morning and then i keep them in the fridge um so his 10 o'clock bottle i won't put in the fridge i will just kind of cool down and give that to him in 25 minutes but the rest i will make put in the fridge and then they kind of survive for like you can use them up to i think it's four hours once you get it out the fridge as long as it's been cooled for an hour so if i do decide to go out then i have a pre-made bottle rather than needing to mess around with a flask and all the rest of it i just find that it's a lot easier for us and then we have a bottle warmer so if we need a bottle we can just stick it in the warmer and it's a good temperature joey doesn't like his formula really warm he likes it more room temperature um so it works for us and that's the way that we do things so i'm going to go make those bottles now and then we're going to do a little bit of tummy time before he's due a feed in like i say about 25 minutes and yeah then he'll want his next nap i imagine 15 minutes to half an hour after that and then I've got to do the food shopping a bit of housework I've got some washing that needs to be in the tumble dry now I was hoping to stick it on the line today but the weather is crap so yeah just little bits here and there might go see my father-in-law might take him to see his nonna um but yeah not sure gonna see how I get on today so we will see <laughs> Jeremy's gone down for his second nap of the day now, so hopefully he will have at least an hour. Um, I have put the washing in the tumble dryer, which is that horrible noise you can hear behind me. But I think, I'm watching Superstore at the minute. I've been binge watching it for the last few weeks. It's just something I have on in the background. I don't really think it's a serious series that you would sit and watch um, intently kind of thing. It's no happy valley, don't get me wrong. But it is something that I have on in the background quite frequently and I put it on this morning just in the background and I'm getting quite into it. Uh, so I don't know whether or not to sit here and enjoy a cup of tea and watch Superstore or crack on with some cleaning because my house desperately needs a hoover. I have got endless piles of washing to put away. Um, I'm not going to put them away because I wake up Joey but I've got more washing that needs folding. I feel like I honestly do not understand where all this washing comes from how can one tiny human suddenly increase my wash load by about 5,000 it's ridiculous and I find as well that I fill the uh I fill the washing machine up to a normal level and then when you actually empty it there is so much in there because his clothes are so tiny so they don't take up much space but then when you go to hang them on the line you don't have enough pegs um it's really just, it's mad. I can't believe how much we get through, especially things like vests 
because uh, if ever we do kind of have any leakages from the nappies obviously it's the vest that it hits before it hits everything else so sometimes you can catch it before the actual clothes are ruined um but yeah it's mad it really is mad how much washing i get through at the minute and i just feel like i'm constantly cleaning i feel like i have accepted the fact that my house is not going to be spotless until joey's a little bit older i was saying to marco yesterday if you know he's willing to make me a housewife a stay-at-home mum uh then when joey goes to school or is in nursery i have those designated days where i can kind of stand at an ironing board for two hours at a time i can't do that in the minute and i find that i'll start doing it and then by the time um yeah i'll start doing it and then joey will wake up or whatever or he'll need some attention um and yeah and by the time i get back to it there's another two piles to add to it so i'm very much i mean i've never been a hot ironer anyway i've never been somebody that always irons their clothes i'm a bit lazy when it comes to ironing do you iron i was speaking to my brother the other day where well, my stepbrother and his girlfriend had come down and they were saying they don't even own an iron and my stepdad was shocked and i was like well we own one but i very very rarely use it like marco will iron his shirts before he goes to work but that's like the extent of it um so i don't iron very often but i feel like i'd like to <laughs> it's one of those things that i'm like i feel like if i iron my clothes then my life is a little bit more in order do you know what i mean that i feel like there's certain tasks that adults do and that i'm not actually adulting properly until i do said tasks um and i feel like before i had joey those kind of the two weeks that i had of maternity leave before we actually had him my house was spotless and i was hoovering every day i was mopping every day everything was put away everything was very nice and tidy um and it was lovely and i feel like it is just it is now constantly like a bomb has gone off in the house so i feel like there's certain things i need to do to feel like i'm adulting a little bit better i don't know um I think I've just convinced myself to Hoover. I'm gonna utilize the time that I've got to try and clean this house up a little bit. So somebody has woken up from his nap. I definitely didn't get all the housework done that I wanted to do. Um, my floor still has most definitely not been Hoovered. What I did do, however, was I polished the shelves. Um, so I've polished the shelves there and put all my books back up. Um, I took all my, hi, hi. Hi, hi, who's that? Who's that? I um, took all my books down at Christmas to put all the Christmas decorations up and they've literally just been in a box ever since because I haven't known what to do with them. Um, I haven't got a bookshelf. I really want a bookshelf, but I don't really know where to put it. Marco bought a shelving unit for the salon that he's no longer using, so he's going to bring that home and I'm going to use that as a bookshelf in my office. But my favourite books I kind of wanted to have on display in the living room, so I decided to put it up. It adds a pop of colour as well. I always think that's like a really quick and easy way to get a little bit of colour, like just put a colourful book out. Um, I don't know, but for me it's worked anyway and I think it looks good in our living room. So we're going to go to Aldi now, we're going to do a little bit of food shopping. It is about 12 o'clock I think, um, so Joey's next to a feed in about an hour. He might get hungry while we're out, but... Um, it's only a small food shop. I literally don't really want to spend any more than like 30 quid. It's a quick, quick shop. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. Should we go get some lunch? Go get some lunch? Yeah? Lovely. Guys, let me tell you, there is nothing in this world that infuriates me more in my life at the moment than people who park in parent and child bays that either don't have children well, they might have children, but don't have children with them. Or some lady just parked next to me um, and she parked in her car. She got out, walked towards the trolleys. And I was like, oh, maybe she's just getting a trolley and then going back to her car. And then I started loading my car, looked right. She'd gone into the shop and inside her car were two teenagers just sat in the back of the car. I'm like, why do you need the parent and child parking spaces? It was busy. And I'm like, there's literally only one space left, left now. Like... Oh, it infuriates me so much. People are just so entitled. It really winds me up. Um, and I've been thinking about it the whole way home. And I get really, like, do you ever do it where you, like, have an argument in your head? I do it quite often when I'm in the shower. That makes me sound really sad. But I'll have, like, a full-blown argument with the most random person over a scenario that I've made up in my head. Um, and it makes no sense. Whereas this, I had a full argument with this lady in my head. It happened the other week when I was at Tesco. And I was getting Joey out of the car and somebody came back to her car and started loading her car up. And I was this close, I tell you, to going, oh my God, 
you've left your child in the shop like do you want me to hold your shopping while you go back and get them because i just think to me it's just a really entitled selfish thing to do and i just wanted to vent that and share that frustration with you um i thought i'd really quickly show you what i got from my shop so i spent 30 pounds so i did stick to my word um there's still a few bits that we need but we get from other shops so i'll show you what we got and yeah um so today is wednesday so i only really needed dinner for today tomorrow and friday we always get a takeaway on a saturday and on a sunday um we're usually either at my parents or at marco's parents for dinner um so yeah i will show you what i got so this end is some more healthy stuff so i got some baby cucumbers because i love to snack on these i absolutely adore them um some celery sticks a full cucumber some lettuce mini potatoes some wonky peppers um satsumas and yeah this is kind of all just for and the halloumi i don't know if i said that um but i'm gonna do so i got some a roast chicken here so i'm gonna do a roast chicken salad for dinner tonight i think and then friday we'll have it with um the halloumi because i i get a large chicken and then there's loads and marco can have some for his lunch and then i can reuse it um i got some burgers marco's gonna get the rolls from Tesla go because I, I just prefer them um but some plastic cheese to go with it cannot beat plastic cheese on a burger you've then got the milk flora we like this um savory eggs for lunch some peanut butter for marco's lunch um i really like these they're the rosemary and sea salt flatbreads and i love them dipped into this dip so that's what we're having some digestives for me to have with a cup of tea once i've put joey to bed some eggs so i can have scrambled egg for lunch and some cheesy bakes i also got myself some daffodils uh one of the heads has fallen off on the way home which isn't great um and now joey's crying so brb so we've decided to go for our dog walk it doesn't look like it's going to get any cheerier outside but it isn't raining so that's a good thing but joey is due a nap and keeps getting quite irritated so i'm gonna stick him in the pram um and go for a walk now <sighs> I feel like it's one of those days today. He just doesn't seem to want to nap again. Um, so it's just causing us problem after problem. But hopefully the pram will do the job. It usually does. So let's go. <laughs> we've just got back from our walk and this afternoon just ended up being a bit hectic to be honest i think joey woke up from his nap we went food shopping i fed him he fell asleep on me and then woke up quite quickly and then he wouldn't go back down so i couldn't get him to nap he was getting overtired and when joey's overtired he starts like literally hyperventilating while screaming and it's really horrible and it takes a while to settle him um so i just decided to bung us in the car and go for a walk uh it was busy i didn't time it very well but obviously i hadn't planned on going right there and then and we ended up being like caught in a lot of the school run so there were just teenagers everywhere which wasn't really ideal but he did sleep for a little while so we've just got back and i'm waiting for his milk to warm up um i'm gonna feed him have a bit of a play and then hopefully hi bruce have you come to say hello <laughs> um and then hopefully he will go down for another nap i usually let him sleep kind of from you know like five half five till about six ish and then he'll get up we'll do like the bedtime routine and then he has been touch wood as of late been quite good at going to bed and being asleep for half seven um so we will see whether or not he sticks to that this evening um but yeah i think he's i think he's feeling a little bit better now i think he was just overtired and like i say he tried for the contact nap and then as soon as i moved he woke up so wasn't really ideal um but yeah so we're gonna do a nappy change now and then have his food and then that should tide him over until bedtime shouldn't it are you putting that in your mouth he's got a thing at the minute for putting everything in his mouth um I'll show you because he really makes me laugh when he does it. If he's got something that he can put in his mouth, he kind of pulls his face where he just kind of goes like, <laughs> and he'll really try his hardest to do it. Um, like he'll pull his dummy out of his mouth and then he'll put it back in, but at a weird angle and not actually the teeth. Um, so just anything he can get in his hand at the minute, he wants to put in his mouth um, like this. Look, what are you doing? 
Are you trying to put it in your mouth? What is it? Is it your elephant? Is it your elephant rattle? Is it? Is it? I'm not sure it'll taste very nice. I think there's other things you can put in your mouth. You like your matchstick monkey, don't you? That's your favourite. We've got the orange matchstick monkey and he will literally batter his face with it. So he will slobber all over it and then he will start trying to put it in his mouth but actually hitting himself all over the face with it. And it's rather amusing to watch. You have a good time, don't you? You have a very good time doing it. Yes, you do. You do. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Should we go change your bum bum? Should we go change your bum and then have some dinner? Yes? Yum. Papu. Papu. Are we having some? Papu. 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 Yeah. Papu. Papu. Is mummy funny? Is mummy funny? Papu. Right, come on, let's eat. Let's eat. Boo. Are you showing everybody how good you are at tummy time? Oh yeah. Should we put your little Should we put your toys on? Do your hands taste nice, do they? Do your hands taste yummy? Do your hands taste yummy? Hi, oh hi Bruce. Hi. <laughs> So we are now doing a little bit of tummy time, as you can hear from our Baby Einstein tummy time bar. Um, this is, actually I shared it on my stories a little while ago, I think I saved it to my baby products highlight, I'll have to have a look, but if not I'll reshare it in the link below. But this is it, so um, it's called a Baby Einstein tummy time bar, you like it a lot don't you? You do! Um, and yeah, so it just plays loads of like different sounds you can have it in animals colors or just musical notes and um, you can set it to spanish english or french so it's very fancy and if you turn the middle ball bit um then yeah it just plays tunes so joey really likes it and it's definitely something that helps him to keep his head up isn't it isn't it we've got like a little mirror stand as well oh have you had enough have you had enough? Should we flip you over? Um, I can't remember what I was saying now, but yeah, it's... <laughs> Hi, Bruce. It's really, really good at getting him to keep his head up. We also have, like, a mirror stand. Um, so it's, like, a three-way... One side's got a mirror, then it's got two sides of, like, sensory patterns and shapes um, and pictures, and then, like, a bit... Like, a frilly touchy feely thingy my bob that we put up for him sometimes but that is currently it can also hang on the back of your car seat so we have that in the back of the car at the minute so that he can look into that um while i'm driving so he's got all the sensory patterns there so sometimes we went through a bit of a phase of him hating his car seat he still doesn't love it but he is getting on a bit better with it now but we put that in the car just to kind of try and settle him but I've been buying like different sensory toys for him to play with on the floor. I get ideas from, um, like I say, we've been going to that Heartbeeps. I mean, we've only been to one session of Heartbeeps. We went yesterday, but um, I literally came home and went on Amazon to try and find these like little glow stick things that we have there. Um, but yeah, different like where we've been to like different baby groups and they have things like the foil blankets and feathers and um, when we've gone to little soft play things to the baby sensory rooms, like I just go on Amazon and just buy little bits that he particularly liked. Um, he likes things that jingle, he likes rattles, he likes crunchy things at the minute, like he's got his little Jungle Tales book I'll show you. Are you playing with that? So again, he's just trying to put it in his mouth, aren't you? <laughs> Does that taste good? Does it taste good? So he does tend to like really noisy things. He loves a mirror. Um, so yeah, I spend an awful lot of my time really just sat on the floor like playing with all these different things for him. Um, so yeah, and Amazon do things really cheap, so it's really good. But that baby Einstein thing, I'll share the link. I think I paid £20 for it um, and it completely changed tummy time for us. Like, I think the 
or it's, it's one thing I think having a mirror and things like that that they can look at but the fact that it's musical and it lights up um, was really really beneficial and it was that that we were playing with when he rolled for the first time so he has he rolled for the first time I god I think it was about four weeks ago now maybe a little bit yeah it must have been um, so he was about 16 weeks I think yeah, I think he was. I think he was just four months. Um, he rolled for the first time. Then he did it again the next day. I went to a soft play in Essex with some friends and he did it there. And then he didn't do it. And then he did it about 10 days ago. And then he hasn't done it since. So he doesn't seem to like it very much. Because um, like I say, he's, he's not doing it again. He's nowhere near rolling back to front either. It was front to back that he rolled. Um... So we've been looking around. I also want to get Mama, uh, Mamas and Papas do this. Um, oh, bless you. Bless you. Um, they do like this sit me up activity seat. So you can sit them in it. It's a bit like a bum boat, but it's got a tray that they can, with like an activity thing on it that they can play with. Um, and you can also attach it to chairs so that it kind of emulates, a bit like a high chair, but it's more like a booster seat. But I think it'll be really handy when we go to like my mum's house, we go to my father-in-law's house, like I say, we do tend to eat out most Sundays, I say eat out, but we eat at family's houses. Um, so it'd be really handy to kind of have that and take that with us rather than, you know, expecting them to buy a high chair. And as much as, you know, it would be helpful if other people had high chairs, I can't expect them to. So we're going to get that and take that around and hopefully that will last, last you a little while, won't it? That will last you a little while, will it? Will it last you a little while? Yeah. Like your bouncer chair. We take that everywhere, don't we? We take that everywhere. That's our bouncer chair that we got. Um, loads of people were saying about the Baby Bjorn one, but I absolutely refused to pay the price for the Baby Bjorn. So we got that one, um, which is from Smith and cost us £49. And he loves it. And it's basically exactly the same as far as I'm concerned. Um, are you smiling at me? Are you smiling at me? Mummy's got to start dinner, hasn't she? I've got to roast the chicken so that we can have our roast chicken salad and I didn't quite realise the time. And Marco finishes work at six. It's now five o'clock, so uh, it takes only two hours to cook. So Mummy better go season that and put it in the oven, hadn't she? He's just smiling at me, but he's also sneezed and got snot all over his face, so I'm not going to show you him right now. Am I? No, no. Give you some dignity. We give you some dignity, don't we? Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> Guys, I am playing a really, really risky game. Um, Joey is still asleep. It's quarter past six. Marco's due home any minute. I'm thinking I might go wake him up now. Um, he usually has a nap around five o'clock. So when we last spoke, it was just before five o'clock. He started getting really quite... Um, Mardi, so I did take him upstairs and try to get him down. It took him ages to go down and then he has kind of woken up every like seven minutes uh, during this nap. So he's only really been asleep for about 20 minutes. If I wake him up, he is gonna be so miserable um, and it might actually be even harder to get him down to bed at about half seven. Um, so I don't really know how to play this. I think I might just bite the bullet and in like five minutes when Marco gets home, wake him up, get him ready for bed, bring him downstairs, feed him at seven um, or close to seven, depending on how hungry he is. And yeah, then get him pretty much straight into bed. We'll see, but I just don't want to risk leaving him asleep too long and then him not going back down. I'm still like, we're still at a point where although we kind of understand the wake windows and we've got like a good routine in terms of that, like I was talking earlier, I still feel, I mean, we're absolutely winging it. And I think parenting as a whole from what people have told me is winging it. And I don't actually think that side of things is ever going to get any easier. But I don't, I've completely forgotten what I was saying now. This happens to me all the time. I think this is definitely something postpartum because I am constantly forgetting what I was saying. Um, yeah, that's it. We still haven't quite nailed what is a danger nap and what is not a danger nap with him um but i have a feeling if i leave this much longer it's going to be so wish me luck i'm then gonna this chicken's got about half an hour left i think yeah 35 minutes left um so then marco and i will have dinner once joey's gone to bed sort the kitchen out and then I will literally have a night of just, I've started a book, I've started the book, um, I started it ages ago actually, it's the life changing magic of not giving a fuck. Um, I bought it ages ago because I'd heard good things, 
I didn't really get into it. I'm now trying it again. Um, I feel like it's something I really need to uh, try and do. I definitely give too many of the things, uh, especially when it comes to like what people think of me, um, etc. And I think those anxieties have definitely started creeping up post baby. So I'm reading that at the moment. So I'm gonna do that once he's gone to bed. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of take a few minutes and just enjoy the silence and then go wake him up. So wish me luck, please gang, wish me luck. So it's eight o'clock. Joey has gone down for the night, just Marco is home. He is currently in the process of doing the dishwasher, um, being put to good use now he's home. Um, and I now have a load of admin to do for the salon. So I am gonna call it a day here. I'm gonna hope that Joey stays asleep um, and that I won't be seeing him until seven o'clock in the morning, but a girl can dream. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week for another video.